I'm Jim Carter with your WCCM News Talk video headlines for this 11th day of September. Voters in New Hampshire heading to the polls today. It's primary day. They'll be selecting nominees for several offices, including governor. First time in many years. It's an open field both on the Democrat and Republican side. Election officials in New Hampshire are predicting a 21% voter turnout. A Methuen duo arraigned in Lawrence District Court yesterday morning, charged as accessories before the fact of murder and the death of Martin Angeloni Butt. It happened on Sunday at about 1240. Both of them are being held on $250,000 cash bail. 58-year-old Laurel Fleet of Salem, New Hampshire was killed in a horrific car accident yesterday on Route 111 in Salem, New Hampshire. It happened yesterday morning. According to Salem, New Hampshire police, she was driving her Mazda when it crossed over a line traveling east, slammed head-on into a traffic trailer. Exeter, New Hampshire high school senior Victoria Arlen is in Scotland now, planning on heading back home sometime soon. She has a gold medal and three silver medals from the Paralympic Games in London. Exeter, New Hampshire is planning a big parade to celebrate her achievements. In Manchester, New Hampshire, the school committee voted last night to hire a dozen full-time teachers in order to try to ease the overcrowding that has occurred since the start of the school year. The board voted to provide the district with up to $650,000. And a well-known Chinese restaurant in Haverhill is being investigated for allegedly over-serving a 26-year-old Methuen man who apparently top toppled backward and fell over a railing at a second-story deck overlooking the Merrimack River. These and other stories making news headlines on this Tuesday, the 11th day of September. Local news first at 1110 AM WCCM and 102.9 FM HD2.